Okay, so I'm back over at the basement of this uh, bank building, and uh, you might recall I did a uh, repair of a wall that was cracking over here, and I got a boiler in here, a steam boiler, and the water was getting a little dirty. Um, you can see down here, there was quite a bit of sludge, and... Um, just dirt, grime, that kind of stuff uh, overall that was in here. Uh, this boiler is approaching 20 years old. And, um, you know, it's well maintained and taken care of. Gets inspected every year, that kind of thing. But this year it uh, was backing up just a little bit, I think, in the crud in there. was uh, not looking good. So anyhow, I got this solution. It's called 8-Way Boiler Water Conditioner. And it's supposed to protect, maintain uh, steam and hot water systems. And uh, it says it builds alkalinity, controls pH, inhibits corrosion, and is a color-based system. So I got two jugs of this stuff. And I'm looking at this, and it contains sodium hydroxide, and then some sodium nitrate, sodium phosphate, and then water. It may cause respiratory irritation, that's wonderful. And cancer, look at that. Toxic to aquatic life, all right, I'll be sure not to put that in the fish tank. So you're supposed to pour or pump eight-way uh, into the boiler until the water turns violet in color and uh, run the steam system for about 30 minutes to three hours uh, until the water turns blue or violet, leaving the system to condition uh, for one full season. Okay, so, but you can actually, uh, there it is. So allow the steam to run for one and a half to three hours, then drain and flush. Okay, so this is the first uh, quart that I got, and um, the system was uh, had never used this before. So I put in one of these things, and I got this little fancy pour. I gotta tell you, the most difficult part of this was finding an area to actually um, pour this stuff in. And what I ended up doing is going way above there and there was a little expansion knock up there and I just uh, unscrewed that up there and, uh, and poured it in because you know it's going downhill so we'll see how it goes that was the first you can see all this brown stuff that came out of there I mean look at that sludge man it's not looking uh, it was taking a little bit longer for my system to uh, heat, to heat my building. And usually this thing, I mean, it's got all kinds of BTUs in this thing. But usually it, uh, eh, it takes about a half an hour because uh, I just, you know, bring it down to the minimum over the weekend. Um, but recently it's been taking a little bit longer and I'll, I'll show you why I think. Okay, we're going upstairs now, and in this steam boiler system, I do have a couple baseboard radiators, but the main way I heat the building is up here in the ductwork. I have some radiators up here, and you'll see when we get up in the uh, drop ceiling, there's the two lines that come in, one with the steam and then the return with the uh, water. And uh, on these radiators, what I was noticing is that the bottom portion of it was... A little bit too cold and I think that the sludge right here where I'm pointing uh, kind of was um, getting down and clogging up the bottom of these radiators right here so that's why I got the eight-way hopefully it'll help out a lot in terms of cleaning these and improving the efficiency of the supply and the return you can see uh, through the sight glass for the water line on the boiler it has a little bit of purplish haze to it, um, but I think that for a first run, it probably has quite a bit of that 
um, contaminants that were uh, in the system. And I do have a meter that's specifically designated for the, um, this meter is specifically designated. It's upside down, that's just the way they put it in line. You can see that it says cubic feet. So I put about 2.2 cubic feet in there. And uh, according to the calculation, um, that's about 16 gallons. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drain this and uh, refill it with another quart for the second run. And you wanna make sure that these things um, have been off and sitting, I would say for at least a half an hour, and this one has. There might be still a little residual pressure in there, um, but so I went ahead and uh, shut off all the electricity so the automatic um, water uh, valve will not open and it will not uh, allow water to fill back into the boiler. So let's go ahead and flush it out. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> Just simply open up that valve. Just stand back for a sec. You can still see it's a little bit of uh, steam coming off of there. It is a little warm, but you can take a look at that water that's coming out of there. Take a look at that water that's coming out of there. I mean, it's kind of uh, it's kind of purplish now. It does have a purple haze to it. Definitely different than when I flushed it the first time. Let that drain all the way out, and I'm gonna refill it with a brand new 16 gallons, uh, I think 16 gallons, um, about 2.2 cubic feet of, uh, of water, which I believe is about 16 gallons. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit more purple. I don't know if you guys can see that. Definitely more purple than brown, so that's good. All right, so I'm just gonna head, go ahead and let this uh, drain all the way out, and then uh, we're gonna go up on top and, uh, and refill it, put another quart in. lower valve here and you can see how this is uh, where the return comes in so on this side over here this is pretty simple it's an ingenious system so this uh, on the left over here this is where the steam is created goes out and then it goes up higher and then all the way out to the destination. And you can see that there's two pipes running together. They always have to run together, but these just happen to be, and if you can notice, this pipe is higher than this pipe. That's because this pipe on top has the steam, and this pipe on the bottom is the return. That's got the water. So when the steam goes out and hits the radiator, It'll provide heat to the building, and then that steam condenses and turns into water. Still hot water, but water instead of steam. So water is heavier than steam, so this pipe is lower, and that's why it carries out. And then you can see it turn all the way back in, over to the, keep on going. And there you go, that's the one that goes down. And then it goes down, 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 down and there's a the little trap in the return and it goes back into the boiler and that's the coldest water that's the, the water return into the boiler so steam goes up and then hot water comes down 
um, after it's you know dissipated its heat into the radiators in the building and notice it's on the bottom because you want the water to go to the bottom that's where the burners are so what happens is, is <clears throat> the company that installed this this is probably code but you see the water comes here goes up makes a little area here and it goes back into the boiler through this pipe here okay this right here is really ingenious very simple so any kind of system like this is going to have some type of sludge or something in there and this is the lowest point that you can easily access with this gate valve here uh, and let all that junk out okay so every once in a while you know i would recommend and talk to your boiler guy but every once in a while come over here open this up let the junk come out because if you don't over time it will build up and you can actually get junk like sludge building up all the way up into here and then that interferes with the water returning back into the system so this is kind of like a little trap in here that will prevent the water and junk and the heavy solids will go down into here and then the clean water will go back into your system if you don't clean this out every once in a while i don't know if it's yearly or what talk to your boiler guy but it's a simple matter of opening up that valve and letting the junk flow out it will build up and then what you're doing is you are allowing water and sludge to go back into the system and you don't want that in there you do not want that that will just destroy your efficiency because it's not only then heating water it's heating water and sludge caked onto the bottom uh, of that area and it, it's 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 a nightmare it just takes way more energy to heat the sludge and the water as opposed to just the water so okay so that was supposedly 16 gallons if my calculation is correct okay turn that off now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to that area right there and go ahead and put in the next bottle
Okay, so now this uh, system has an electronic uh, valve uh, that lets water in over here. So I turn the power off and this will automatically set it to the right um, level in here. It has an automatic sensor and you can see that the tube is not full of any water whatsoever. Everything should be shut off. Let's go ahead and turn the power back on. And that is the system filling up with water. Doesn't take very long. And then uh, in no time, you'll start to see this glass, this viewing glass, fill up with water and should fill up to you know right about right about there probably okay if you look really closely uh, you can see the water starting to creep up there that's the water level It's looking a little bit more purple, which is good. Now that sound we just heard was the automatic fill uh, turn off. So I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. There's a manual uh, option. And uh, it's just turning a valve on instead of uh, relying for the electronic pump to activate. So each boiler has a little line on it and you can see that it says normal water level for steam boilers. Then you want to get that line, which is right there, in line with what's on the manufacturer's recommendations. And I'm looking at this water in here in this test tube, or this sight glass I think they call it, uh, and it's looking much, much more purple, which is, which is what we want. So this is uh, the system. It uh, is a color-coded system, and it's kind of for dummies. It's kind of for dummies, and I am, I guess, what you would call uh, one of them. It's called Eight-Way Boiler Water Conditioner, and it is a color system, so you don't have to, you know, break out the old measuring devices, you know, the pH. I don't know, tabs and stuff like that, like the super professionals have. And uh, if it's purple, it's looking pretty good. So this is looking much better. Much, much better right here. I mean, look how much better that is. I don't know if you can tell, but that, that water just looks more clear. And then it definitely has that purple color to it, uh, what we want. So I've never used this product before. It's uh, called Eight-Way Boiler Water Conditioner. And I uh, got it off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, hopefully this um, helps the boiler. Thanks for watching.